Hi, this video tutorial I will cover synchronized method. Here I have defined the class uh, display counter and it has uh, print count method. This print count method is uh, synchronized method and uh, here I am displaying the thread name which is executing uh, print count method and uh, here I have defined uh, for loop. It will loop for uh, 5 times and uh, display the i value and uh, here uh, thread will sleep for uh, 500 milliseconds. Here I have defined the class uh, display thread which extends uh, thread class. It has uh, display thread constructor. Using this constructor we can create uh, object of uh, display thread. And uh, this class overrides uh, run method and provide implementation. It is calling uh, print count method of uh, display counter object. Here I have defined the class uh, synchronization demo. It has main method. Inside main method, I am creating object of uh, display counter. Then I have created uh, thread1 object and uh, thread2 object. Then I am starting uh, thread1 and uh, thread2. I am running this program. Here you can see the output. Here we got a consistent output because print count method is a synchronized method, so no concurrency problem will occur. I have removed a synchronized keyword and make this print count method as normal method. I am running the same program again. And here you can see we got inconsistent output because print count method is not a synchronized method. So concurrency problem will occur. So we will get inconsistent result. And this is about synchronized method. And thanks for watching.